hi ladies welcome back so in today's video i am going to be answering a few questions that you guys left on my last video now one of the questions that i got a few times was to give a life update so i will be doing that and also answering a few questions that will help out majority of you so if you're interested keep on watching and also we're almost at twenty thousand subscribers so woo and let's get into the video so first things first perfume suggestion recommendation for you guys now this one is my absolute favorite as of now well since my birthday honey since i got it so and i've used up this much my birthday was like a month ago so this is bodicea the victorious and this is in the scent bravery and it literally smells like licorice <laughs> and why wouldn't you want to smell like licorice ladies so i really do recommend this they sell it in selfridges and i think in harrods as well so this one i just wanted to recommend to you guys so first question i'm trying to remember these off of my dome the first question is from shana who asked about dating goals how to set dating goals and i guess what they should be now dating goals are subjective and they are personal to the individual so you really have got to remember that it's something that you have to do right because i don't know what your goals are for dating i just don't know the majority of women you want the end result to be marriage majority of the time so when you are sugaring and you're labeling yourself as a sugar baby i only care about money i just want a sugar daddy i'm throwing you guys some of you under the bus honey i'm sorry but this is what some of you guys say and you're not thinking about the ultimate goal you're just thinking about the goal right now so maybe your goal for the next six months is to have a sugar daddy somebody to help you out because you are in financial difficulties and you just need a helping hand but maybe your goal ultimately is for marriage or for a long-term relationship with somebody who obviously is a real providing a providing man a real man who is a provider and also somebody who you get along with and is respectful to you and when it comes to sugaring you do have standards but really it doesn't matter that much because you're not going to be around that person for a long time so it just depends what type of dating you're doing what your goals would be another question i can't remember the names of everybody but another question was how to get money from a man and or how to ask for money now the point of this is that you actually are dating somebody who you don't have to ask for money from. Wow, I'm vacant today. So let me elaborate on this because this is something that you guys ask often. This is the idea. So let's create a scenario because I feel like the scenarios do help to for, for everybody to understand. So let's create the scenario whereby there is a woman who is a 7 out of 10 and she is dating a guy who looks like a 3 out of 10. She is completely his type, like he's in awe of her looks. He is very respectful to her in public and behind closed doors and he makes at least 700,000 a year let's say on top of that this man is extremely generous so whatever the lady he feels like she needs he's offered it before she's even needed to ask dates always he's taking care of it if she just mentions the fact that she needs to buy some new things or that she is going to do something he responds back saying look no problem look check your account it done that's the type of scenario that you ladies should be seeking when you are in that type of scenario you don't have to ask anybody for anything you don't have to do it because it's being offered to you so when you are in a scenario where you're having to ask somebody for money it means that they are just not the right person because clearly for whatever reason they don't want to help you 
even if they can afford to maybe they just don't want to spend their money on you maybe you are a seven out of ten maybe they're a nine out of ten so why would they want to help you right so that's the scenario that you guys should be seeking and you guys can keep on asking me in the questions how um in the comments sorry how do i ask for money how do i get my sugar daddy to do x y and z for, for me at the end of the day if he's not doing it he doesn't want to and the whole point of this channel is not to start begging people for things it's not to start begging men for money it's not to start being a a beggar it's not to do that it's to look to the point where you don't have to beg anybody for anything you're going for the right people and when you're in the right scenario the right relationship it will just happen because it's supposed to and things will flow and it will just work and it won't be an effort it won't be difficult it won't be hard you it won't be like pulling teeth and it will just come naturally to you but for that to happen and for that to be your scenario and your reality you must do the glow up and you must look like what he wants to be investing in basically okay life update time because that's what you're really here for right now i just want to say this guys i have kept my business to myself on this channel for a while and the reason why i've done that is because it can be extremely embarrassing when you have to come to a lot of people on youtube and say look i was in a relationship it didn't work out it's like why would i put myself through that stress to have to come and say to people i learned from my last experience and i decided look i'm going to keep my business now off of youtube but i will update you guys on the current situation that i'm in because what i did realize is that you guys actually are my friends online and you put a lot of your time and energy into me watching my videos liking the damn videos if you share them i don't know <laughs> but if you share them that's even more energy honey commenting that is energy that you put into me so you guys are asking me a question i'm going to answer it that's long story short so i am in a relationship and so far so good i'm the type of person that i don't like to get ahead of myself and get too overexcited because obviously i do have goals and i'm not at the end goal but i am in a relationship and it's going well i'm with somebody who is lovely to be around he is completely respectful to me and he does everything that i need him to do and more so i am very happy in my situation and i'm very you know I'm, I'm just happy in my situation now my living circumstances have changed i'm now half based in london and then half in saudi so i had a list of six things that i wanted in a relationship and so far all of those six things are being met and i just want to say to you guys that there really is a power in writing things down um and i've done this before but it was for the wrong things on the list you know i had like 30 things on there that didn't even make any sense but in this list i've narrowed it down just to six things it has nothing to do with the person's looks it's all about qualities and um things that they can bring to me to benefit my you know to benefit the relationship there really is power in writing things down so i urge you guys write things down narrow down what's important for you and use that as your goal for narrowing down the guys that you're going to date and if they're not reaching those standards then they're out and they're done and also the fact that we are gaining new subscribers the channel is growing it really was the perfect time to do this kind of chilled chit chatty video with you guys because it allows the new ladies and also the old late the old ladies the the og ladies to really get to know me on a chilled we're just vibing together level as well so i'm pleased that i did this video and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and sending lots and lots of love to you guys Mwah.